and the orders required there under. Then it talks about the requirement of acting in good faith based on credible evidence. Then it goes on to say that, number one, the Internet site is a foreign infringing site, is an Internet site dedicated to the theft, which is what you'd like to strike, and subsection two, the action is narrowly tailored and consistent with the entity's terms of service or other contractual rights and with the purposes of this title. Uh, we seem to be missing the fact that any action that is taken here would have to be taken under the terms of service, the terms of service presumably being very clear that in any of these companies, as I understand from speaking with them, because though they're not here this evening, as everyone seems to suggest they would like, uh, in speaking with them, it's clear that the terms of service in virtually every one of these contracts would prohibit exactly the kind of, uh, of theft and intellectual property theft that, that we're getting at. They have to be consistent with that as well. We need to read this in full. We can't pick and choose. We need to look at all of the language, and it is in looking at all of the language that I oppose this amendment. Will the gentleman yield? I will. Okay, again, the language that was cited only for taking the actions described in Section 102. Uh, again, the actions of those operative sections of the bill, not the pre-requirements of the operative sections of the bill. It refers to the actions described in that section the actions, of the bill. The actions, the actions the act taken under the under that language, pursuant to the order that causes the action to be taken. Well, if the gentleman agrees that that is the intent of the bill. Uh, it is at best ambiguous, but we can clarify it with uh, my amendment, which would very clearly apply a court order language to this part of the bill. If that's the intent, there shouldn't be I actually reclaiming my that. time. Reclaiming my time, one, I don't think it's unclear. Two, I think that you continue to ignore the second subsection, which talks about the additional requirements that would be contained in the, the terms of service agreement, which would forbid the very action that we're trying to get at. They would be, we're simply requiring that they take action consistent with their own terms of service and granting immunity if they take that narrow action based on what is, is required. And I yield back. And Sherman yields back his time. The question is on the amendment. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. No. Can no. you chair the noes have it? Uh, recorded vote has been requested. Okay. Um. So, Mr. they were on section 105 of Mr. the Goodlatte. SOPA bill. Mr. Goodlatte votes no. Mr. Lundgren? Mr. Shadley? Mr. Shadley? Mr. Shadley? Mr. Isaac? Mr. Isaac votes yes. And... Mr. Pence? Mr. Forbes? Mr. Forbes votes no. Congressman? Mr. King? Mr. King votes no. Mr. Franks? Referred back votes to no. section 102 Mr. of the SOPA bill. Mr. Gomert votes no. Which I'm guessing, uh, from my understanding, yes. the people Mr. Mr. voting on no. this bill. Mr. Chaffetz? Mr. Chaffetz votes aye. Mr. Griffin? They're only using bits Mr. and Marino? pieces. Mr. Marino, of no. the the Mr. bill Gowdy? that's being forwarded on no. Mr. Ross? right now, Ms. as we speak. Ms. Adams, so, no. Mr. Quayle, Mr. Quayle votes no. Mr. Amade, Mr. Amade votes no. Mr. Conyers, no. Mr. Conyers votes no. Mr. Berman, no. Mr. Berman votes no. Mr. Yeah, from what I can tell, on uh, section, no. I don't know if it's section one or two or section one or five, Mr. but. Scott? Mr. Watts votes no. Ms. Come on, I'm seeing right Lachlan now. Votes aye. Ms. Jackson Lee. Ms. Jackson Lee votes aye. Ms. Waters. Uh, it's a close 50 no. 50. So again, Mr. Cohen votes aye. in an hour or so, I'll post up another video. Mr. Pierre Luisi. So, Mr. Quigley. I don't know. Ms. Chu. Ms. Chu votes no. Mr. Quigley. I'll be back in an hour to keep you updated, unless otherwise, Zombie Boy 88, signing out.